Well, well, my good friends, today I am buzzing because I am at one of my three favourite places in London. I am at Gatwick Airport and I'm heading to Magaluf. This is going to get messy. Keep watching. Hello Spain. Hola, como estas? Fantastic. So excited. It's been many years since I visited Spain. In fact, I think the last time I visited they were still using the peseta. Does anyone remember pesetas? I think I'm showing my age now. Anyway, that having been said, for those of you that follow my channel, you will know that I tend to go a little bit further abroad when I go traveling these days and on this occasion I've decided you know what I'm going to try somewhere a little close to home and Spain it is and so far my first impressions pleasantly surprised. During the day the town centre is a little bit quiet as most people tend to head for the beach and to be honest with you you really are spoilt for choice when it comes to bars and restaurants all along this absolutely glorious, beautiful, white, sandy beach. Probably one of my favourite bars that I've come across so far, the Taki Taqueria. Um, I must be honest, I did find the food a little bit pricey, but they have got quite a good selection. Um, yeah, average price on the beers. But definitely nice chilled out bar, great music. I've decided to check into the Palma Nova Hotel Suite. My room's costing me £140 for four nights. It's got a fantastic swimming pool. The rooms are clean and tidy. If there's one thing I'm gonna say, there is a little bit of a hill you gotta go up to get to it, which could cause a few problems after a few jars. But apart from that, £140 for four nights, that'll do nicely. Another thing I like about this place, loads of ATMs everywhere. Happy house. And a nice little bar, restaurant. Not even 10 o'clock yet and people are on the beer. That's what happens when you're on holiday, see? <laughs> Old buckets and spades. Yeah, I love this place. Absolutely amazing. I really wasn't expecting this. It's well past my expectations. What I thought Malaga, or what I thought Magaluf was gonna be. It has certainly um, surprised me. Amazing. And on that note, it's time to head into town and check out the nightlife 
in Magaluf. This truly is a party town with so many bars, clubs, nightclubs, restaurants, takeaway outlets, you name it, it's all here. Cocktail bars as well, plenty of them. One thing I have noticed is there's a lot of hen parties and stag do's going on. I guess it's a popular destination for that. Probably one of the reasons this place is also nicknamed Shagaloof. The night is young, but the streets are already starting to fill up with party revelers. Another thing that's really popular around here, the little karaoke bars. So heading to the beach in Palma, I've arrived and uh, all I've seen so far is the main street with all the entertainment and bars and everything else and it's time to visit the beach, look at that, palm trees, wow, never thought I'd see that, amazing, white sand, looking good so far, I actually quite like this place. Never been here before, well, about 30 years ago, but not really visited it as such. Passed through, so to speak. And this time I'm here to see what it has to offer. Palma, this is Mal Magaluf. This is Magaluf, actually, not Palma. Look at that. Fantastic. White sand. Oh my god, I actually could quite get to like this place. It is night time by the way, as you can see. But first impressions, oh my god. I might start giving uh, Southeast Asia a miss. Look at this, absolutely amazing, beautiful. It's only night time but Tomorrow in the daytime, I'll make another video on it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Looking good so far. If you're not really in the mood for bars and clubs and nightclubs and all that kind of stuff, then why don't you make your way over to the Magaluf Slingshot? I highly recommend that you do this before you have a drink, if you are intending on doing it, because otherwise, it could get a bit messy. Just kick him away, kick him in the gut. Squeeze I thought it was. I hate I hate I hate I hate I hate I that is probably the opposite. It's like you get a lot of pictures. It smells like a massive plate. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no
or something like that. Romans do and I am in Magaloop and I've decided to have myself some sweet and sour chicken. Have a look. Sweet and sour well sweet and sour uh Chinese. I've had a few, excuse me. Have a look at this. Some sort of Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I've decided to have myself some Chinese curry and uh, sweet and sour. A little bit of everything. Yeah, two of those chickens, please. No potato, no sweet potato, please. Look at that. Should have had some noodles as well, but... No, no, no noodles, thank you, guys. No noodles. A bit of curry sauce, look at that all going on there. Fantastic. I'm in Magaloop and I'm having Chinese. I should have been having some traditional... Spanish food, but... I decided on this. Oh, fantastic. How much money? Thank you. How much is it? Uh, no, that's it. So that's cost me nine fifty. We've got chicken wings, some sweet and sour, some chips, some curry sauce in there. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. It's a difficult film. I eat at the same time, but I'm going to try this out. Shame it's cold. It's cold, but. Guys, the curry. It does need a microwave, but. It is what it is. The next day.